welcome back to another weekly Australian grocery haul and meal plan. If you are new here, hello and welcome. My name is Katrina and I am an Australian mum with two young kids. And on this channel, I like to share our weekly Australian grocery haul and meal plan for our family of four. And I also like to share what's for dinner videos and meal prep over here. So if you love watching that kind of content, I would love to have you hit that subscribe button down below and turn on the bell notifications to all so that you do not miss any of my future uploads. And also if you like today's video, please go ahead and leave it a big thumbs up down below and don't forget to leave a comment saying hi and let me know that you're here and watching now i'm gonna go ahead and show you what we got in the meal plan first and then i'm gonna go ahead and go grab those groceries tonight and i'm gonna come back and show you what we got in our grocery haul as always go ahead and leave those guesses of how much you think our grocery haul cost us this week down below in the comments and i will let you know at the end what the price was now let's get into the meal plan so on Monday, we are going to be having teriyaki chicken rice bowls. On Tuesday, we are having chicken fajita pasta. Now I've made that one before on my channel. I will leave the link to that video in the description box down below if you did want to check out that recipe. It was absolutely amazing. On Wednesday, we are going to be having homemade KFC jute bowls. Now I saw this one over on Southern Mama Drama's channel, on Jennifer's channel, and it looked amazing. So I definitely want to give this one a try. I'll also be filming this one for a what's for dinner coming up because I want to share it because it just looked so good on Thursday we are going to be having ravioli bolognese on Friday just leftovers because I'm sure out of all that stuff during the week there is going to be leftovers and I can never be bothered cooking on a Friday night on Saturday we are going to be having lasagna and salad just something nice and easy I'm buying the lasagna already pre-made we used to have pizza night once a week just the frozen oven pizzas but we're getting a little bit sick of that one so we've kind of swapped that out for lasagna for the moment just to make it nice and Easy still, but just something different for a while. And then on Sunday, we are having chicken and camembert pie with sheet pan roasted vegetables. Now, I think it's like chicken and leek camembert pie. I don't know, but I brought them in the grocery haul, so I'll show you those ones when we get to it. Now, I'm going to head out to get those groceries, and then I'll be right back to show you what we got in the grocery haul. Okay, so the first thing that I grabbed was these slow-cooked King Island beef and camembert sauce pies. I haven't tried these ones before, but they looked really good and they were on special this week. So I thought I would go ahead and try them out while they are cheaper. And then I also grabbed these chicken and leek in cream and camembert sauce pies. These are so good. I love these ones. Whenever they're on special, I definitely grab these ones just to stock up in the freezer. And then I grabbed one bag of frozen broccoli this week. That's just for the chicken teriyaki rice bowls that I'm going to be making. And these are the chicken breasts that I am using in that as well. And I also have a lunch recipe that I want to use the rest of those in too so that's why I brought that one in bulk then I went ahead and grabbed the KFC jute the KFC jute bowls sorry they call for popcorn chicken in those and so this was the closest thing that I could find to popcorn chicken at Woolworths so I grabbed these ones and a lot of the time when you grab like a random item like this it's sort of off center to what I would normally buy it's normally sold out or unavailable and I get refunded so I did go ahead and grab these chicken breast pops as well from the freezer section just because I was worried that they wouldn't come and I really really want to make that recipe this week so now I've got double the amount which is fine because kids love nuggets so they are going to love these anyway so they will get eaten and then I've gone ahead and grabbed two pouches this week for my one and a half year old she's got the sweet potato lamb and couscous pouches I grabbed some pasta now I didn't mean to grab the gluten-free ones but I'm not sure that they'll taste any different anyway so that's fine I probably just paid a little extra for those so I got two boxes of the gluten-free Brilla penne and I also grabbed one packet of the bow ties because we had bow ties last week in the TikTok pasta that I was talking about and the kids loved them they loved the shape and they were really excited about it so I thought I would grab another bag just for like whatever pasta that we have that week we will use that instead of the penne then I grabbed a bunch of gravies we did need to stock up in the cupboard but I do need this gravy for the KFC jute bowls as well so I grabbed two of the family pack traditional ones and I grabbed one of uh sorry two of just the normal sized ones as well I grabbed one can of corn that's for the jute bowls as well and I think that's everything that goes in oh and potato but we had a whole bunch of those left over from last week so I didn't need to buy them this week then I grabbed the teriyaki marinade for the teriyaki chicken rice bowls I'm excited to give this one a try I like the master foods brand so I'm hoping that this one tastes good it only has a one star rating so it's not that great for you but I'm excited to give this one a try actually that is basically exactly what we're making with the broccoli and the rice and the 
teriyaki um, marinade. So yeah, there you go. Don't even need to wait for my what's for dinner. You can see what it looks like there. I also just ran out of um, my coffee sachets this week. So I've got the vanilla lattes in the Nescafe brand. I got three boxes of those. They were half price. So I think it's like $3.15 for a box of 10 there. So they're really cheap. Just saves me a ton of money rather than going out to the shops and buying a takeaway one. And also I see on a lot of like the grocery hauls over in the US, you guys have like the vanilla creamer and things like that and they look amazing but I just haven't seen them here in our grocery stores if anyone is watching from Australia and you have seen those like creamer bottles and things like that let me know where you get it from because I would love to try those out I reckon they would taste a lot better than these but I do really like these ones anyway so they are fine for now until I find something better then I went ahead and grabbed two packets of these rice cakes I grabbed thick rice cakes I like to use those to put like peanut butter on and have like an apple on the side for myself and then my kids really like the thin ones just to have so they have Vegemite on or a thin slice of um, a thin spread of peanut butter. So that's for them. And then that one's for me. And then I went ahead and grabbed this yogurt this week. I felt like yogurt. I don't really have yogurt often, but if like, I'm ever going to eat yogurt, this is the yogurt that I love. This is the Gippsland Dairy Toffee and Honeycomb Twist Yogurt. It tastes amazing. If you haven't had this one, definitely go ahead and give it a try if you want to treat yourself. Then I've grabbed a loaf of bread this week. And for the third week in a row, they have had my low GI white bread in stock. So I'm so happy about that one. And it's so soft and fresh too. So I must have got it right at the perfect timing. And then I also grabbed this carton of eggs. We just ran out. I got two packets of nappies. They were half price this week. So I love to stock up on those when they're half price because otherwise they cost a fortune. Then for snacks this week, we also grabbed those fiber one uh, salted caramel and almond popcorn bars that I've spoken about before. They were on special as well. So I grabbed another box of those to stock up. And these are new in the Belvedere soft bakes. I think it's just the flavor that's new because I've had these before in the uh, golden syrup flavor, I think it is. And they're really good. But this is the apple and cinnamon flavor so i'm excited to give these a try and always when i get these things if i don't like them my three-year-old just loves anything that comes in biscuit form so he will always eat those if i don't like them this is the lasagna that we grabbed for this week's dinner it's just a really quick and easy one that you just put in the oven and although it says it serves eight it only serves my small family of four it is so thin when it's cooked and we love lasagna, so it doesn't last very long at all. And we definitely don't have leftovers when we make this one. And then I've grabbed some yogurt pouches. So I've just got four of the Banana Kids Immunity Boost ones for my toddler. And I grabbed a few of these little custards for my younger one. And then I have grabbed two boxes of cheese this week. I've got the Colby cheese and the mozzarella cheese. I have a couple bakes that I'm making this week to put into the freezer, just meal prepping them. So I grabbed that for that so I can just grate that over the top. And I also grabbed this one just for every day and to chuck on like our pasta during the week and things like that. I grabbed some more tomatoes this week. I still have a leftover onion, red onion from last week. So I'm going to go ahead and make up the bruschetta topping again and have that with the balsamic vinegar that I got. It was amazing. I pretty much had that, I think, for three days straight last week for lunch and I am just obsessed with it now. So I've grabbed those again and I'm going to have that for lunches this week too. I grabbed one avocado and one zucchini for the roast vegetable night. And last but not least, I have just grabbed myself one of these blocks of Rollo. They are half price at the moment. All of the Nestle or Nestle, however you say it, is half price at the moment if you want to run to the shops and get yourself a block. So that is everything that is in this week's grocery haul and meal plan. If you haven't already, go ahead and pause this video and leave your guess of how much you think this grocery haul for my family of four cost us behind me. And then I'm going to go ahead and let you know the price now. So this week's grocery haul cost $167.76, except there was a promo code, which was SAVE in capitals, which took $10 off the order if you spent over $150, which we did this week. And that bring it down to $157 instead. So it was a really good saving there. And I think I also have had a $10 in rewards points saved up, which also made it cheaper again. So I hope you all enjoyed our weekly Australian grocery haul and meal plan this week. If you did, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I can't wait to see you all again next week. Bye. I don't need nobody else. I got you and you got me too. I wanna do what you want to